I work very closely with Eve, uh, uh, more and more actually, uh, uh, as, as, as a screenwriter and a filmmaker, Eve is, Eve is a producer of, of most of my movies and also a co-writer. So we brainstorm, we have ideas, uh, and, um, and actually what I like is, is to transform ideas into something that is really a world and a story. Because an idea, uh, an emotion, something you experience in the world can be interesting, but it's not. It's not yet. It's not yet a movie. Sure. So, so uh, what we do to make it a movie is think about it and try to um, try to find a, a beautiful arena. To try to find uh, 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 characters that are really typical for an emotion, and and go from there. And and it 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 can. Sometimes a, a man becomes a woman, or, or yeah. sometimes a, a, a butcher becomes a boxer. Uh, and some ideas, they stay like, they evolve for years and years and years, and then they kind of like, you don't know what you're going to do with it, and then at a certain moment, it kind of pops up again. I think a, a short movie and, and, and a feature film is very different structurally mm -hmm. in the sense that a short film doesn't need so much structure. You know, it's seven minutes and, and so it's beautiful and it's a, it's a, it's a wonderful form to, 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 to conjure up a world without having to really uh, think of like plot points and, and, and whole structure and about, uh, you know, this whole uh, mechanics of, of screenwriting. Uh, in a short film, it's less important, I think. I mean, I mean, if you conjure up a beautiful world, I hope then that, that, that the audience already likes that world and is not bored, you know? Uh, but you can't, you can't, for a feature film, you can't have like a beautiful world for, for an hour and a half without like a plot. So um, for the short movies, we, we gathered uh, drawings, photos, moments. Uh, I remember that that saint was really uh, first not a story at all and just just moments, just just images that, that, that I, I made yeah. drawings and, and I, I wanted to to see a narrow go into a naked body and I wanted to see eyes gazing and I wanted to see that and then and then I like made a collage of all these things and and, and uh, it, it, it started with with also the idea of, of martyrdom. I wanted to do something with martyrs and, and we really focused on, on Saint Sebastian because there's so much of, of visual imagery about him and, 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 and he's so... Um, everybody uses Saint Sebastian for their own story and I thought that was, that was very interesting to, yeah. to use Saint Sebastian for my story. All, all my short films are actually about someone um, who's trying to find a place in the world and, and each of these characters um, feels different to, to that world and, and uh, I think imagines a more beautiful world where, where, where he fits. And so I think uh, if, if, if it's a, a, a boy dreaming of, of, of his neighbor who is on, on far exotic worlds or, or uh, a sports guy, you know, he's in a sports club and, and he dreams of being an actor. It's always about, about that longing for, for uh, something. I think they do share a certain, all the main characters, even in the feature films, they all share a certain loneliness also. That's, I feel that they have like um, a certain isolation from the world and they, they kind of need to overcome that or deal with that. And that's something that I feel. Yes, yes, yes. And the short films are much more about the loneliness than about defining happiness. And I think in, in my two feature films, uh, we start with that loneliness. And I focus much more on the found finding of happiness. So I think that, that's interesting. Uh, in, in when I got older as a filmmaker and, and, and 
uh, I got more interested about that happiness, about where do they fit, where do they find their happiness, and, and so that's, that's maybe an evolution in, in, in my work, that I, uh, of, also of my interests. Uh, crazy enough, I think I, I, found <laughs> I found my voice before I maybe, that was the first thing I found, basically. Uh, uh, it, it, is my aesthetics and, and my themes and uh, I think uh, the content has changed but the voice was already there. I, I, I've, I've been trained in, in an art school uh, as actually as a video artist and experimental film artist so that school was very much about the voice, about who are you and, and what's your artistic vision and less about structure and, and about the, 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 the classic narrative. I, I, I'm not so. He doesn't like talking. I, I don't like talking. No, like, I mean, he likes talking, but he doesn't like talking <laughs> in films. <laughs> no, it's true because when we write together, we try to avoid um, long dialogues as much as possible. Because what's the use of making a film when you can? It's not an audio play. It's not you know. So yeah, yeah we're more more excited about about the visual. Than, than the dialogue. And if we use dialogue, we try to use dialogue sparingly. And um, we also try to use dialogue not to say what it has to say. You know, I mean, uh, I, if, if, uh, if I say I'm gonna buy an apple, and I mean I'm gonna buy an apple, I think that's very boring. If, I, if it means I'm going to buy an apple because I'm in love and I'm going to offer the apple to someone I love, I think that's more exciting. And, uh, and it's also more exciting than to say, uh, I love you. We work together and know each other and, and, and do basically everything together already more than 20, 20 years. years. So that's something that, that, that really grew very organically in the sense that, that, that uh, uh, doing things together is, is like very normal. So I get the credit of, of the director, uh, uh, which, is, which is fine with me, but I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I wouldn't say that it's so clear uh, when even me create movies together, uh, we talk about everything every day. And, and I think I believe in, 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 in filmmaking as, as a group work. Uh, in the sense that um, uh, it's like a bunch of, of very talented people, artists, coming together and making that one movie. And, and my role is, is maybe to invent the, 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 the rules of that one movie, uh, but their job is to, to make it work. I can't do that without the whole, the whole team. So uh, Eve is very important in that team, and, and um, uh, that's how I... Uh, how I see things, and uh, on my last feature, um, s the first days, uh, some people of the in the crew and the cast were like surprised that I was asking their opinion. <laughs> They're like, "Oh, well, but you're the director; you should know." And of course, I know. But but uh, sometimes an actor or an actress knows much more about the character than the director himself. So if you have good people, I think it's it's your job as a director to to use their talent uh, to to the max. It's strange because my father is a captain on a, on, on a boat, on a ferry between, he doesn't has do been, it, no? has been, but, but he worked as a captain between Austin and, and, and Dover. And I always thought that I'm so different to my father that I have really a different way of being in, in professional life and in life. And, and only this year, actually, I actually realized that, that the job of a captain and the job of a, of a filmmaker is not so different in the sense that, uh, well, if the captain is on his boat and there's no one else, the boat won't, won't go very far. So that's the same with, with being a film director. You, 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 you really rely on a good team and, and it's your job, yeah, to, 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 to put them together and, and, and have them being all on the same boat, right? But, but that's, that's, that's uh, it's teamwork. <laughs>